So can we go a little bit deeper into maybe the higher regulated verticals like healthcare or government or financial? I mean, how do you tackle those? Oh man, well, we work across all verticals as I know you all do. Uh, right. I think in the data center space, uh, <laughs> this is probably your daily thing, keeping up with these certifications. Uh, it's it's got to be quite uh, quite the, the resource, uh, a lot of resources dedicated to that, right? You know, our, our network itself uh, is, is built in third party data centers, uh, such as yourselves at 1623. And, you know, so a lot of accreditations and a lot of the security is, is built in within that data center. Um, from a network perspective, you know, we're, we're taking the customer out of that data center to the cloud provider edge primarily. So when you start thinking about, um, you know, the verticals and government, uh, for instance, I think is one of the, the, the topics that's in the question. Um, you have to get out of the data center. You need to get to the edge of the cloud. You need to be able to access a government on-ramp to reach uh, your, your government cloud resources, right? That sit in that regulated environment outside of the commercial cloud environment. Um, so with Megaport, those are the type of connections that, that we're facilitating. Um, to, you know, with Azure, um, Google, uh, and aid, a, Azure, Google, uh, AWS, and Oracle uh, um, primarily. Uh, and they all have different ways that they set up those connectivity models. Um, and, and certainly we're able to provide that for them. Uh, you start thinking across the different verticals. And again, we're, we're connecting uh, network resources from point A to point B. So we're, we're providing that private layer two connectivity. Uh, so it is a secure platform. Uh, one of the interesting things or one of the interesting customers that we're working with is Intercontinental Exchange or ICE. Um, they're a NASDAQ clearinghouse. Um, they utilize our network uh, as part of the underlay for their ICE Global Cloud Connect offering. And essentially through ICE, they have their own dedicated network where part of uh, the fees that they're trying to access it within the public clouds. Um, so they're utilizing our network to build private connectivity from the edge of their network, from their data centers to the cloud provider edge, and ultimately to access these uh, data feeds that they're pulling back down into their network for their customers. Um, so that's one of the financial use cases uh, that we support. And um, certainly there's a lot more detail around that that customers can look at on our website. But I think, you know, one of the interesting things that uh, uh, we got from their head of their global network uh, services is that, you know, our Megaport software to find uh, private network is, is really purpose built for the capital markets. So I think if someone at ICE is giving us that type of credibility from a, a security perspective that, uh, you know, our network is, uh, is considered to be secure across all the verticals that we work with. That's great. I, um, yeah, just back to your point on the, just all your case studies that Megaport has on it. I spent a lot of time going through uh, Megaport when you, when you guys uh, decided to, to come to um, 1623 and pop us with the dual feed, but like, it's, it helps to see those use cases out there and how um, Megaport is, is helping so many different types of businesses. It's yeah, really cool. I don't think it's, I mean, any, any uh, you know, service provider out there, uh, you know, getting a, a use case is not, I, I think you would agree, right? It's, it's not easy, right? It takes time, it takes resources within the business. So, you know, I think it, it, if, you, if you're lucky enough or you're, you're, you're good enough to get a use case, that really shows the value that your customer is bringing to the business yeah. or that your service is bringing to the business.